Robbie Anderson ejected by his own team after yeah. arguing yeah. with the coaches, sitting away from his uh, teammates. Michael, what'd you make of this? You, it's, Robbie, and, and I will reach out to Robbie. You know, Robbie, Robbie you cannot get up in the coach's face like this and, and, and yelling at the coach. Yeah. And he did the right thing, sending them in. You know, we got to make sure that, that, that this is not tolerated no matter who you are. I, I, I feel badly. I, Rob, Robbie's done a lot of things trying to straighten things out things that he may have gotten wrong. So so this this is this is just bad. And this is frustration too. He wants guys, to catch more passes. Guys, here's the deal, y'all. And and nobody and whether y'all gonna say it or not, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, there's problem with coaches and all of that stuff that happens. Robbie, you can't do that. That's a bad look that ultimately comes back to affect your money if you're not careful. Be smarter than that. Having said all of that, if you had a good quarterback, this wouldn't be an issue. When you are a receiver, there's a lot that you can tolerate when you got faith in the cat throwing you the football. When you're struggling to know whether you're going to get that football, every moment is that much more pivotal. And that is where the heart of this frustration lies. He had a better quarterback situation in Carolina. This would not be an issue. But you got to use the coach as your asset. You I, agree. Go I agree. Him. I yeah, agree. I agree. And I think that's, the, I think that's the other thing. And this is for me. I know we, we bring it here sometimes and people get upset. That's the black coach that's right. with a black, a black interim right. head coach that's right. and a black young player. That's right. And now you have this incident taking place on the sideline. And, black for me, assistant, and, yeah, and for me, the perception of it and the way people from the outside will view it, that's also another thing that you have to deal with differently, I think, especially when it comes to your room. I don't your mind coach. frustration in discussions. I don't want that old craziness where you busting up in this man's face yeah. like you're about to hit him in the mouth, right. like we're on some street corner or something. You're on the sideline of an NFL game. Act accordingly well, right here. You can have a difference. You can be frustrated. But you ain't got to walk up on this man like this. First That's of just all, wrong. First of all, you're a 1,000% right, both of y'all. And I, But I want to get back to the point that Ryan brought up because it's incredibly important. And I've said this, and I've had issues with profess some professional athletes a few throughout the years for this very reason. When Matt Rule was there, we didn't see that. You got white men in, in, in the positions of leadership, and you don't do stuff like that. But the second you got a black man that's the boss, you act differently. And this is what gets in the way of black individuals getting leadership positions. Because the number one reason, and they ain't going to tell it to you, but I'm going to tell it to you. The number one reason usually you find black individuals in control is because the people above them are saying, okay, you can control what's going on. If you have no, if you show no ability or an inability to have control and stewardship over your franchise, it is going to prevent other African Americans from getting those positions in the future. It's a damn shame that some players, not most, not all, but a few players, don't think about that from time to time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.